So this is a very interesting case, a very unique room because this particular office didn't have any furniture in it. This was automatically virtually staged. If we take a look at what it looked like before, this is what I had. Very large 6,500 square foot house. This happened to be the office and there wasn't anything in the entire house. So the client paid me to virtually stage it. And you've seen me do videos on this before, but in this case it was done automatically and this is what was created out of this. So the same goes for other rooms that I've done here recently as well, like this one here, standard house. This one was virtually staged, but automatically. And what's unique about this is if we take a look at the before, you can see here some unique things. So over here, there is a uh, foyer and it's not just a living room. So how did it know? Well, it just did. And it knew to add in, for instance, an entry table, some other artwork over here. Now, I personally would have probably added a TV or some other art up here on the wall, virtually staging it, but you still can. And that's one of the big benefits of this new automatic staging that I'm going to show you in this episode. So the same goes also for this particular bedroom here. And it was just a simple bedroom here. But after doing the automatic virtual staging, I still was able to control it. If you notice over here, I have this, which was for cast corrections. So I was able to easily eliminate some other color casts that already existed in the image even after the virtual staging was done. And once again, this virtual staging was done automatically. Now it's not exactly perfect, but it gets you very close. And the biggest thing is that you have extensive flexibility on what you wanna do afterwards, not just after it's been automatically virtually staged, but other things as well. And I'm gonna cover that in depth in this episode. Now, this is a new feature with Apply Design, and you've probably seen me do other tutorials on using Apply Design, and I've got links to that down in the description for this video. But in this case, they have a new feature to automatically virtually stage, and then you get all this extensive flexibility. So I'm gonna show how that's done, but also then cases like, for instance, here, where it didn't necessarily do the best job right out of the bat, but after I did some other arrangements using what it started with, this is then what I had. So it was a much better image with this type of furniture compared to just what the auto kicked out. But once again, this was automatically done, didn't have to do anything. This one was automatically done too. So how do you do this? Let's jump into that. So here we are in Apply Design, and this is just one of the properties that um, I've been working with doing this various testing for this auto staging. Now, if you're not familiar with Apply Design, I have a link to that also, it's just applydesign.io. So in here, you can see I've uploaded various images. Well, what you would do to get started is, just like you would normally, is you would upload an image. So we go there, and then we can browser, drag, and drop. So just like you would normally do, we'll select an image and then we'll say open. Now it's gonna do something a little different. Notice over here, it still would charge me just one coin, which costs about $7 if you buy them in quantity. So usually it's about seven bucks an image. And then you now have this over here, which you can say to auto stage, they also have remove items. But here at auto stage, if I click that, it goes up to one and a half coins. It'd be just one coin if it was just a standard image, but it's one and a half if they're going to auto stage it. So then after you do that, you need to select what room type it is. So that's where here I can say it's a living room, dining room, bedroom, children's, bedroom, exterior, bathroom, all these various things. And one of them was an office. So I just selected the office. Now, if it was more than that, let's say that you had an adjoining room. Let's say that this was a living room, dining room combination that overlapped, then you would select both. But in this case, it was just an office. So I just said office. But there's a lot of different choices that you have. So once you select office, then it says, do you want to select a style? And you can, and they'll have different styles that you can select. But quite honestly, at this point, yeah, it might give me something better to work with, but it does a pretty good job on its own. And if I'm doing this auto staging, then I really want it just to do it for me. So none of these that I did, I selected the style. All I did was select the room. Then once you're done, you select the upload. 
And then once it's all done, this is then the result that you would get. Now, at this point then, you can still edit the result. So I could go back in here and say, you know what, I, I wanna add a few more things here. So I could go back to edit this result and it's gonna load it up once again in the editor. So once again, you know, you're seeing this, you've seen me do this on other videos before, that it's not going to be exactly correct. So it's not gonna look exactly right because this is just the workspace. When you do go to render it, that's when you have something that looks really good. But let's look at this example because this is one that really got tricky because we can see here that I did three different renders. If we take a look at the first render, you can see it really didn't do such a great job. Now I did say that it was a living room and dining room, so it did pop in a dining room table. And I actually like the furniture a lot, and I do like the artwork that it popped up, but for me, being a small condo here, one, this is off center, I, I really want that underneath of the light. And over here, I want that furniture turned around, but that's easy enough to do because I can edit the result. And when I edited the result, I had this. And it was pretty good, my first edit, and then I rendered it again and took a look at it. And by the way, using Apply Design, you can edit and render this as many times as you like. It doesn't cost you anything more. So you can see I moved the table over, I put in this down here for, I moved the, uh, the end table, put some glasses and stuff. This is just one of their uh, decor kits. And I put the artwork on this wall and I popped in one of my favorite uh, entertainment centers that I use. And I'll touch on this in just a little bit too because these are things that will speed up your workflow by having then your own personal collections. Anyways, after I took a look at this, I went back and edited it one more time. And doing that, that's when I enlarged the uh, paintings over here, the, the artwork, and then I put some decor on the table. So now all you'd have to do is once you're happy with that result, after you rendered it, then what you would do is you would download the raw files. Now this is something that I love about Apply Design, which you just don't get in some of the competitors. For instance, if you used Box Brownie or you used virtualstaging.com, yeah, they're gonna have some automatic virtual staging, but they don't give you any flexibility to edit later. So what I can do is I didn't like the original result. I did some editing and I wanna do some further editing. So now what I can do is say download the raw files and I can download then the Photoshop file. So now that I've got it downloaded, I load it up into Photoshop and I can do just about anything I want with it. So if we take a look, here's my original layer. Then they added some other layers. They added a shadow layer and they added a furniture layer. If I didn't like the shadows so much, I could put a mask on this and edit some of that out or add some of my own shadows to that as well. And the furniture too, if I didn't like portions of it, I could still edit those out. I could just mask those along with the shadow layer. But the quality here is really quite amazing. Let's Let's zoom in here 100% and you can see this furniture is really sharp. Even down here you can almost read the letters in the book here and I thought it was pretty cool too. They had these uh, these earbuds down here, a um, little cup of coffee sitting there. I was just out of one of the decor sets. And even over here when we add this stuff in at the far corner at 100% we can see that it's very sharp here at 100% zoom. So this is way better than trying to use uh, Photoshop's generative fill to do some of these things. But once again, it was a very good result. Now that I've got this also as a Photoshop file with all these layers, I can do a lot more. For instance, I can say, I want to adjust the brightness on just the furniture. So I could go to layer, adjustment layer, and a brightness contrast layer, apply a clipping mask because this is right above the furniture layer, then when I do that, I can adjust the brightness of that furniture. Now, it's brightening a lot of the furniture, so I could invert that layer mask, control I, and then use a brush, and then I could brush in a little bit more brightness, and it's only being applied to the furniture that I'm working on right there. So this is with it, this is without it. For instance, the shadow over here too might be just a bit much for that plant. So I could add a layer mask here and go layer, mask, reveal all, and then take an eraser. I'll just use like, a, let's say a 30% flow and I'll erase some of that shadow. So this was before and this is after. So not bad. Now, once again, some of the color cast that I showed before were things that were my fault. So without the color cast, this is what it looked like. And you can see there was a lot of blue that was up here, some greens, all this stuff was coming in from the outside and 
No amount of flash would get rid of that, but I was able to add my own color cast corrections in there. And those are just things that I show how to do in my course on expert editing for interior photography. And by the way, if you're not familiar with any of my courses, any of my books, I do have links to that down in the description for this video. But let's say I really wanted to edit this further. And as an example to what you could do after something was automatically generated by Apply Design. So once again, you can just go to Edit Result. And here we get the uh, low res kind of non-rendered view just to be able to work in this workspace. That's why some of this looks a little cartoonish because this is just the workspace. It's not the finished one. So a couple things you can do, one, once you've virtually staged a room, you really like it, you've edited it, it, or even just automatically everything was great, you can go to same property. So by clicking on same property over here, then you get all the various rooms that you virtually staged for this particular property, and then you can select any of the furniture. For instance, I could go over here and say, you know what, I really wanted to add some of this artwork here. What was that? Well, I'd go here and open it. And then over here, I've got all the items that I can select. I could use the rug from there. I could use the artwork from there. But you can take this even further. Let's say that in here, I really like that artwork. Now I can do it from here or I can just click on one of these and there's that piece of artwork that I liked. Now, I really like this artwork, so what I can do is up here, I can click this little icon and that'll add to a personal collection. So here, you can see I can create a new collection, but I already have different ones that I've already made. So, what I can do when selecting furniture, besides just using stuff that was in the same property and selecting a room and grab grabbing other items, I can also over here use my personal collections. So over here are things that I really love to reuse. So let's say for instance, in this particular living area, I've got a whole bunch of stuff that I've selected that I like to reuse. You can see here's some artwork I like to use, different coffee tables and whatnot. And there is that entertainment center that we have over here. That's one of my favorites. So I knew very quickly how to add that. Now, if you were just starting out, one of the more difficult points of using something like Apply Design is that you need to pick out your furniture. So you, they have a huge selection. If I just wanted to select sofas and I went in there, it's just an overload of different options. And I can narrow some of that down, but that usually is when you're first doing your first virtual staging, it's hard to select. What do I want? What do I not want? Well, with the automatic feature, I can let Apply Design, pick the furniture for me. And it might not be exactly where I'd put it, but I really loved this furniture. I liked what they did, even though it wasn't arranged right, and it was easy enough for me to then edit it, to move it around, and then just re-render it. And that's the beauty. I can keep re-rendering, I can edit as many times as I want, and then I can get something here. And this is something really key to understand. One of the things that can give you an edge and also allow you to charge more for virtual staging is this type of flexibility. One, if you were to go to like virtualstaging.com, sure, you can get fairly immediate results, but if you wanna change anything, you're gonna be waiting a day or more and it's kind of a roll of the dice. If you're using Box Brownie, that's typically the next day and once again, any changes, they may charge you for it if they're very drastic and you're gonna be waiting for them also. One of the reasons why I've been doing more and more virtual staging for my clients, even though I charge a lot more than what Box Brownie does or virtualstaging.com does, is because of what I'm able to do for my clients. So immediate turnaround, when I deliver the photos, this virtual staging is so quick, they get the virtual staged images right away. If something isn't quite right, I can charge for some re-edits as well. Now it does help when you first talk to your client about the virtual staging, what is the type of uh, genre that they want? Is it mid-century modern? What type of style are they looking for? And you can suggest things also. So that gives you a lot of flexibility on what you can do for the edits, but it also gives you the ability to charge a lot more for your effort as well. Another thing too is just the selection of furniture that you have. So this was one of my favorite renders that did. I love this type of furniture for some of the modern builds that they have. So Apply Design has a lot. If you haven't checked it out, once again, that's applydesign.io. And they do have not just a good selection, but now this auto staging feature, which really is kind of minimal when you think about it. It is just a few bucks to have it automatically select the furniture and automatic placement. This gave me a really good head start on getting this particular image, which then in 
Photoshop, I was able to do a lot more with it. And also you can try one image for free on Apply Design. You can upload it, try a bunch of stuff with it, and then edit it, see if you like it. Once again, I've been using this for, I don't know, the last year, two years, something like that for all my virtual stage. And I found this to be the most flexible. And if you're not a Photoshop expert, you can just download the JPEG file by just selecting Download Render. You can also, by the way, adjust some of the furniture brightness. You can add some more furniture shadow. So they do have some of these things if you're not really a Photoshop expert and you're just trying to get a JPEG image real quick of something here. But the thing I love about it is that, yes, I'm already editing the photos. I'm already using Photoshop. So after I'm done editing the image, then I can just virtually stage it, add these other layers into it, that Photoshop file, and then I've got a great virtually staged image, and it was done a lot quicker with a better selection by using some of this auto staging.